Hey all. So today I kind of wanted to show you something that I've been tinkering around with and kind of trying to figure out a little bit here. So I recently got a new machine, set up my comfy UI and uh, stable diffusion and loaded up all kinds of you know, models and uh, I've been tinkering with them. So one of the main ones that I've been messing with lately has been stable video diffusion. Really what I'm trying to get at is just uh, some way to upscale this thing so that it can be in like a native 1920 by 1080p or even just something a 1280 by 720. The issue is that the max right now is 1024 by 576 at 25 frames per second. And so, you know, that's a little kind of low res by today's standards. So uh, I've been tinkering around with a few things. I kind of wanted to show you the workflow. Full disclosure, this stuff's still pretty new to me. It's been using fee for service AI for this channel since the beginning and I only recently uh, was able to get my own hefty workstation with a, a new GPU and everything um, so I could do it locally so I'm still kind of figuring this out if you guys uh, those of you that have a lot more experience in this you know of a better way to do this I would love to hear about it in the comments section below anyway here's what we're looking at and of course I'm assuming on this that you've got your comfy UI fully set up you've already downloaded your checkpoint for SVD. Also, you've got your Comfy UI manager that's uh, already going. The custom nodes, here's the ones that I've got installed here. I've got these four custom nodes installed. And pretty much this is what my workflow is looking like. I've got my 1024 by 576, 25 frames, um, motion buckets at 60. I've got this at 7 FPS, so basically it's pumping out like a three second video. And augmentation is at uh, 0.07. Moving on over to here, case sampler, 20 steps, uh, CFG is at 2.9. I'm using the Euler sampler name. Kind of the critical area that I change is here after this uh, Rife FVI module, basically the image output. I ended up adding an upscale image here. Um, basically just right click, add node, and I believe that is under image, upscale image. And I've got this set to 1920 by 1080 using nearest exact upscale method. Frame rate output here, it's still at 25, got the loop count at zero. I did go ahead and ping pong this because it's kind of nice if you want to try to like loop this thing afterwards in your video editor, it actually makes it a little bit easier. So you can see that that seems to work. And basically what I've got here is, this is the file property. So you can see the output did come out at 1920 by 1080. This is about 10 megabits per second, uh, 25 frames per second and you can see what the actual full-size file looks like here not too bad it's a little you know it's a, it's obviously not native 1080p you can tell it's pretty obvious but that is an upscaled 1080p file that is ready to be imported into a 1080p project and if you know of any bad ways like i said let me know anyway i hope this helps see you next time later